Hello and welcome to my painting video. In this video I'll be painting a gene stealer cult aberrant. As with the neophyte hybrid, I'll be using this model for a new Necromunda gang. I already played a game with him and oh boy is he destructive with his power pick. Let me show you how I painted this model. After priming the model with Wraithbone, I will base coat the skin areas with Gulliman Flesh. As with most contrast paints, one coat is enough. Next, I will give the skin a wash of Drooky Violet. I ended up painting two coats. Now, I'm going to make the skin more purple with some mixtures. The first mixture is Zerius Purple and Kistler Flesh. Paint the raised areas. Now I will add Slanesh Grey to the previous mix and highlight the raised areas. Lastly, I will add Palette Witch Flesh to the same mix and highlight with thin lines. Here is some more mutated purple skin. Much more alien looking than the neophyte hybrids for sure. I want to give a nod to the old school gene stealers and give them, besides purple skin, a blue carapace. To achieve this, I base coat the carapace with Leviathan Blue. Now this is a very subtle effect, but by washing the carapace with Drooky Violet, it will blend nicely with the skin. Now I will create a highlight of Thunderhawk Blue. And finally, I will highlight the carapace with Pharynxian Grey. It's too bad I can't use actual gene seers in my gang, but I will probably paint a couple of them in the old school colors just for fun. The tongue and all the fleshy bits near the carapace are base coated with Gulliman Flesh and are given another layer of contrast paint, Volupius Pink. By giving the flashy bits and the tongue a different color, I created a nice spot color that will make some details stand out a bit more. Next, I will be painting the rope in the same color as the jumpsuits of the neophytes. I start with a base coat of Jokero Orange. Next, I will wash the rope with Reichland Flesh Shade. I needed two coats to really create some interesting shading. To make the rope a bit brighter, I will layer it with Troll Slayer Orange. Make sure the shading isn't lost. Finally, I will give the rope a highlight of Dragon Fire Bright. I like to think this rope used to be his jumpsuit from when he was still human. By using the same color I will create a uniformity in my gang even though the models look very different. All the metal parts of the model will be given a base coat of lead belcher. Every model in the Gene Stealer cult has this very cool emblem, which I layer with Balthazar Gold. Next, I will wash all the metal with Nuln Oil. To give the metal a dirty and used look, I will wash it again with Agrax Earthshade. On to the final details of the model. First, this particular aberrant has one piece of armor on his leg. I base coat this with Celestra Grey. Next, I will layer the same armor with Basiliconum Grey. To break up the metal power pick, I will paint the handle with Mephiston Red. 
and highlight it with Evil Sun Scarlet. The leather belt is base coated with Wildwood. His claws and the skull he is holding are base coated with Skeleton Horde. Lastly, I will use an old brush to dab some blood for the blood god on the skull and claws, to give him a more menacing look. And here we have an aberrant ready to run amok in the underhive. I really like these models, and I recently found out that a new box was released of them with even more options, including a squid head. I can't wait to paint those. I hope this video will help and inspire you, and as always, thanks for watching.